The Ministry of Health and Wellness remains very concerned about the number of COVID-19 related deaths recorded in country. The island has recorded a total of 47 COVID-19 related deaths to date and Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George stated that every death is one too many. Individuals who have passed away range in ages from 21 to 91 years. Of the 47 deaths recorded to date, 81% have occurred in the 50-plus age range, and males account for the majority of deaths. Dr. Belmar George noted the link between the risk and underlying illnesses in terms of poor outcomes for COVID-19. In terms of the risk analysis, and given our morbidity profile for, for diabetes and high blood pressure, I thought it necessary to indicate on the cases that we've seen so far, what the risk analysis by those pre-existing conditions are. You'll note for the diabetes, it's 36.4. For high blood pressure, the, the risk ratio, that is, is 33.9. And for that, both diabetes and high blood pressure is 32.1. So as much as possible, our persons in St. Lucia, we know we have a problem with diabetes and high blood pressure. We need to ensure that your diet, the necessary exercise, and that you remain compliant because this is one of the ways that we, and a very important way that we keep healthy, we keep our resistance up as we manage um, COVID-19. The chief medical officer indicated that there is a wide range of underlying illnesses that puts individuals at a higher risk when they contract COVID-19. Therefore, a lot of the Ministry of Health and Wellness strategies are focused on protecting high-risk groups, both in terms of age and pre-existing conditions, to ensure their safety. We have high blood pressure, we have diabetes, we have 21% having both high blood pressure and diabetes, heart disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, obesity, end-stage renal disease, HIV, cerebral, cerebral vascular accidents, that is persons with strokes, Hodgkin's lymphoma, and asthmatics as well. So for us locally, those are the pre-existing conditions that we note with our um, COVID-related deaths. Now, we, we use the term COVID-related deaths because um, we, our policy of um, testing everyone who passes away, some of those cases were from testing after passing away. Some of those persons um, did have um, serious other underlying conditions, although they may not have developed the, the COVID-19 related pneumonia, but because COVID was positive, we report them for transparency.